I started my weight loss journey. Just me and my camera. Healthy diet and exercise. Didn't think I would get this far. Oh, and when I look back now, the vlogs, they seem to last forever. And when you watch them, my friends, I am a happy camper. So keep watching my vlogs. Horns up and welcome to my unimpressive weight loss transformation. If you're new, welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil. I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. And stick around till the end of this video to find out who the winner of my weekly book giveaway is. So watch till the end of this video and that's enough jibber jabber. Let the vlogs begin. And before that, if you can smash the like button on the video, that would be great. Horns up guys. I'm feeling better today and I've spent most of the day in the kitchen cooking up my chicken, some rice and vegetables and I'm making bone broth in my instant pot for my lunch this week. So pretty much sticking to the usual. Anyway, it's a regular boring Sunday with meal prep and nothing much else happening. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Hopefully I will be fully recovered 110% or maybe 100% and we'll see how things go. So Dipti and I are sharing a burrito for dinner. No, no, do it right. What? Say it. <laughs> Dipti ordered a burrito and we're sharing it for dinner. What burrito is it? It's a lamb barbacoa burrito. Awesome. So we are burrito buddies now. Cheers Dipti. Okay, we're going to go and enjoy our dinner and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Is the burrito good though? Yeah, tell me. Tasty. Horns up guys, we are halfway through the week and nothing exciting has been happening. It's just been a very ordinary week. We did however have some friends over last night and Dipti made her famous chocolate tart. And this time she put a layer of salted caramel in as well. And it was delicious, let me tell you. So last night had a little extra food because there was tart. We had a five layer Mexican dip with some tortilla chips and I made eggplant in voltini for dinner and we had some sourdough bread. So it was a nice heavy meal last night and tonight my parents are coming over and we are going to be having beef burgers because I just felt like having a good beef burger middle of the week. Anyway, since nothing exciting is happening, I thought I would answer some questions that you guys had asked me on this vlog of ours. So let me answer some of these questions. I'll answer five of them. So let's get on with it. 
So the first question is from Krista who asks if I have any food allergies and if there are any foods that I hate or won't eat for personal reasons and if it interfered with keto. So that's actually three questions in one. But I don't have any food allergies but I'm not a fan of spicy food so wherever I get the chance I avoid spicy food. Uh, when it came to keto there was nothing that interfered with me doing keto because you simply just don't eat the foods that you are allergic to or that you don't like you know. I think the keto world is is big enough that there are enough foods that you can find no matter what your food preferences are. I mean if people can do vegan keto, vegetarian keto, I'm pretty sure you can manage no matter what food allergies you have. The second question is from Lisa who wants to know if I've tried the air fryer. So yes, I got my in-laws air fryer and I used it a couple of times and I just wasn't really excited by it and I felt it was something that I did not need to purchase or to even have because we got a regular oven and frankly we tried making like samosas, we did samosas in the air fryer and I'm sorry, deep frying a samosa is just infinitely tastier than an air fried samosa. And you know what, I'd rather eat one deep fried samosa a month than eat one air fried samosa every week. You know what I'm saying? So that's my philosophy of food anyway. So no air fryer for me at least, at least not anytime soon. Trucker Cat has asked, do calories count on keto? And my answer is yes, calories count no matter what you do. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to count them, but they do matter at the end of the day. They do matter when it comes to weight loss. Specifically when it comes to weight loss, calories matter. Calories in, calories out. Jay Finn asked me if I have any tasty tortilla or keto bread recipes without almond flour because he is allergic. And the answer is yes, I literally, if I have any recipe using almond flour, I have a version using coconut flour. So if you're allergic to almonds, you can use the coconut flour recipe. So I've got a keto coconut naan, I've got a keto almond flour naan, I've got a keto mug bread made with almond flour, I've got a mug bread made with coconut flour, I've got a loaf bread made with almond flour, I've got a loaf bread made with coconut flour and I even have a peanut butter bread recipe. So plenty of recipes no matter what your food preferences or allergies are, make sure you go to headbangerskitchen.com and just look them up. And Amanda wants to know what is my favorite comfort food? Uh, so there are a couple of them but the truth is I don't actually ever eat these foods except maybe one of them so uh, I, I, I know there's like a whole you know memories associated with food and a lot of people will always go to their comfort food and if it's about what I eat regularly then for me like anytime I need something like comforting I guess a sandwich does it for me you know I'm a sandwich guy uh, but if you are talking about like food memory associated comfort foods then you know like my mother's macaroni and cheese, my grandmother's scrambled eggs on toast with little dollops of ketchup, my uh, other grandmother's uh, mutton curry which I've actually done a video for on this channel it's called Sindhi mutton curry and uh, my grandfather used to make some incredible pork chops. So like all these would be my comfort foods but they are not things apart from the scrambled eggs that I eat on a regular basis or make at all you know. Uh, so I, I guess you know depending on your definition of comfort food it's either uh, <laughs> the scrambled eggs on toast with the little dollops of ketchup or it's the uh, sandwiches that I make when I just need something comforting. Okay, so that was five questions and uh, I guess life goes on now and I'll check in with you later.
just like that my friends another week is over and before I tell you what I weighed in at this morning I have something I want to very quickly ask you it's been 16 weeks since I started this weekly weight loss vlog and what a ride it's been but it's come to that point where I need to ask you guys how do you feel about this series has it been helpful for you has it entertained you is it worth continuing you know I've been doing this for 16 weeks and I'm at a place where I just need to ask you know is it worth it uh, I've definitely enjoyed filming the vlogs but it is quite a bit of work it is uh, a lot of my time and I'm just wondering you know like are you enjoying this is it worth continuing with this vlog or should I maybe scrap the vlog and just add another recipe video instead of this vlog you know so let me know your feedback in the comments below because I really want to hear from you guys but enough jibber jabber let's get on with the weight loss so I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.2 kilos which means well basically I gained 0.6 kilos or about one and a half pounds since last week which I expected actually because like I said last week I lost the weight because I was sick and threw up so it wasn't actual fat loss it was just a result of being sick and don't ever try that at home ladies and gentlemen I thought I wouldn't need to put a disclaimer so in case you thought that throwing up was a good way to lose weight it's not anyway I think my weight is now kind of stabilizing at 69.2 as for this coming week, well, it's Dipti's birthday, so uh, all rules are out the window <laughs> and uh, I'm going to continue to eat in moderation. This week, however, I did go to the gym three times. I did a f my first ever push-pull legs workout and my legs are still sore from Friday's workout. So I'm excited to start that in the gym now to continue with this push-pull legs workout that I've been doing. Of course, as you've been seeing, I do my indoor walks as well. And let's see how the week goes. Like I said, it's Dipti's birthday, so there are no rules. But maybe if we continue this vlog series in the coming weeks, let's see, we'll come up with something interesting to do. So that's the vlog, I think, in a nutshell. And let me know how your week has been. Have you made any progress? What has your week been like? Let me know in the comments below. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the winner of my book, Keto Life. And before I do that, you know, uh, again, I got to ask, you know, should I continue with the book giveaway? I've given away 16 books over 16 weeks. So let me know if you want me to continue this book giveaway. Is it worth it? Do you like it? Does it do anything for you? Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's announce the winner. And the winner of this week's giveaway is Shop Girl. Congratulations. You won a copy of my book, Keto Life. And send me an email on headbangerskitchen at gmail.com and I will send you your copy of the book. So folks, that's all for this week. I will see you next week, same time, same place on another episode of my unimpressive weight loss transformation. If you leave me your feedback and let me know if you want me to continue this series. If not, I'll be back with more recipe videos. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, if you're sick of waiting to win a copy of my book Keto Life, don't forget you can order it online. There are links in the video description box just below this video. You will also find it at bookshops like Barnes and Nobles and I believe it's at general bookshops around the world.